Deuteronomy 17. Don't sacrifice to the Lord your God oxen or sheep that have been defect of any kind because that is detestable to the Lord your God. Capital punishment. If someone rather male or female is found in your community in one of your cities the Lord your God is giving you who does evil in the Lord your God eyes by breaking God's covenant by following and serving other gods and by bowing down to them in the sun or the moon or any of the heavenly bodies that I haven't permitted and you hear news yeah. about it, then you must look into the situation very carefully. And if it's definitely true that this is this detectable thing was done in Israel, then you must bring out the man or woman who has done this evil thing to the gates of the city stone that person till he or she is dead <laughs> capital punishment must be decided by two or three witnesses no one may be executed on the basis of only one testimony. The, in the execution, the hands of the witnesses must be against the guilty person from the start. The hand of all the people will be involved at, at the end. Remove such evil from your commu community. Legal disputes. <laughs> if some legal disputes in your city is too difficult for you to decide, say between two different kinds of bloodshed, different kinds of legal rulings, or different kinds of injury, then take it to the Location the Lord your God selected. <clears throat> Go to the priest and to the head judges in the office at the time and look into things there. They will announce to you the correct ruling. You must then act accordingly to the ruling they announced to you from that location. <laughs> the one the Lord selects. You must follow very carefully everything they instruct you to do. Act pe peacefully according to the instructions they give you and the ruling they announce to you. Don't deviate even one bit from the Lord that, from the word they announce. And whoever acts rationally by not listening to the priest 
who is in office. Serving the Lord your God or the head judge will die. <laughs> Remove such evil from Israel. <laughs> All the people will hear about this and be afraid. They won't act ironically anymore. <laughs> Law of the king. <laughs> Once you have entered the land of uh, the Lord, your God has given to you and you have taken possession of it and settled down in it, it, you must say, let them appoint the king, a king over us and all neighboring nations have done. You then can appoint a king over that the Lord you God selects. You can appoint over you a king who is one of your federal fellow Israelites. You are not allowed to appoint over you a foreigner who is not one of your fellow Israelites. That granted king must not acquire too many horses and he must not return the people to Egypt in order to require, acquire more horses. Because the Lord told you, you will never go Back by road again. <laughs> the king must not take numerous wives so that his heart doesn't go astray. Nor can the king acquire too much silver and gold. Instead, when he sights sits on his royal throne, he, he himself must write a copy of the instructions on the, on the stroll in the presence of the Levitical priest. That instructions must remain with him and he must read in it every day of his life so that he learns to revere the Lord his God by keeping all the words of his instructions. And these regulations, by doing them, by not being overbearing toward his fellow Israelites, by not debating even a bit from what the commandment. If the king does all that, he will ensure a lasting rule in Israel for himself and for his successors. Thank you for listening to this chapter, and God bless.